We are grateful to God for God's word that he has ministered to us this morning as we gathered unto the Lord. It's my prayer for each one of us and even for myself that these days would not pass by without a specific work in every one of us. That ought to be the prayer of all of us gathered here Throughout these camp meetings, Lord, meet with me in every session. Lord, speak to my heart. Let your word sound and resound within my being. When we remain humble and uh, we are of a contrite spirit before the Lord, He will grant us the assurance that He will speak to us a clear word in these days. We heard many, many thoughts this morning. God will arise and He would truly judge His own house before He will judge this world and all that is in this world. We heard very clearly 
how God will arise and he will remove every filthiness in the midst of God's own people. We heard God is very good and gracious to us. But at the same time we also heard God is also at the same time stern and strict and God also will show forth his severity when it comes to the things which are not in his uh, uh, things are not according to his mind and will in our lives. There are God is speaking a word of warning to God's remnant church in this hour so that God's remnant people may be kept away from every pollution that is around and in the midst of God's people. Let's not therefore reject the warnings of God which God has very specifically spoken to us. Let's not overlook them. Let's not just bypass them and go away from these gatherings. But as the Holy Spirit is still prodding us, drawing us to those places where He is convicting us, let's straighten out those things and give place for the Spirit to do that work of refining and cleansing so that when we go out of this place when we are brought to those places of trials and temptations and our own priorities we would not succumb to those things as in the past in our lives <laughs> As James says, having seen in the mirror of God's word and seen how you look like, let's not forget it soon after the camp is over. But let's correct ourselves as how we ought to look and move out of this place. We would like to move on tonight. As we heard the church has been in a place of much blessings of God through the centuries. Have been in uh, seasons uh, of God's uh, refreshings and uh, God's revivals. There has been great awakenings Times of great repentance in the church as we look at the history of the church. As we read in the history of Israel, there are those who have not bowed to Baal. You know, as we look at the history of the church. <coughs> Yes, but we know that deep apostasy 
The church has fallen into great and deep apostasy at the same time over the centuries. Apostasy has invaded those very church churches where there has been awakenings and revivals in the past. Listen carefully, brothers and sisters, all these things are a warning for God's remnant for you and for me even today. As I said, apostasy has invaded those very churches where God brought great awakening. God sent His Holy Spirit into the midst of God's people. To lead His people into all truth. In the December camp meetings, and especially when we gathered in Chennai in January, we all saw that documentary about the Azusa Street Revival. Tremendous way God moved and poured His Spirit. God sent His Holy Spirit to lead His people into all truth. But that very Holy Spirit God sent into the midst of God's people to lead them. That very Holy Spirit has been driven away. By the ambitious leaders who came into those very places. This is what we see in history. But I want to say, brothers and sisters, God is jealous over His church. There will be a great encounter of God with God's own people in these end times before God's judgments will come upon the nations. As we saw from the book of First Peter chapter 4 and verse 17, the judgment of God will begin in the house of God itself. God will meet with and encounter God's own people. May we realize when it says God will meet with His own people, that means God will meet with you and me. God will encounter with His people who profess to be God's people. We who say that we are God's remnant, God will meet with us. God is jealous over His church. 
As we read in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, God will cleanse her and wash her and get rid of every spot and wrinkle that talks about how God will encounter his church in these end times and would not let her go her way anymore. As he seeks to draw his people unto himself, God is going to challenge his church of everything that is not according to him. So my brothers and sisters, when we talk about a glorious bride, when we talk about an overcoming church, it is not some mental concept, some doctrines out there in the sky. But remember, these are realities that will have to be found in a people practically here on this earth before the coming of Jesus Christ. So let's realize that God has brought us out of the traditions of men from those church realms where we have been and brought us into this body of Christ with a divine purpose. So remember one thing, a lot of work God will have to do in our lives in these days. A lot of things would happen as he would turn to us. As he seeks to draw us back to himself, many things will happen in our lives. I would like to draw an example. As we share about the church in Ephesus. When we turn to the book of Revelation and chapter 2. Now let us all turn to the book of to the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation and chapter 2. We read here about the church in Ephesus. We heard this morning how the apostle Paul with a prophetic eye saw this church concerning what would happen to this church and gave them a warning. For we are strong as one man and destroy the enemy, and he will cleanse the church from all wrong. Like a weeping Jesus songs, he will strike the Pharisees. With one blow, he shall bring up godly down. See the sun, see the sun. See him just the church right before our eyes. See his love, see his love. That the sun restored
church that Jesus Christ the veil The thieves and hypocrites shall be judged by the Son And the church shall be purged from their bonds See the Son, see the Son See Him judge the church right before our eyes That the sun restored it right before our eyes. See the sun, see the sun, see him judge the church right before our eyes. See the love, see his love, see the sun. The sun restored it right before our eyes. That the sun.